Hello guys, Robot Ninja here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this one, we are going to be converting this flat, empty world of nothing else into a giant supermarket. Well, it ain't gonna fit this entire world, but it's gonna be big. So, uh, it's pro this is gonna be my first video of proper editing with like speed up bits and all that, so, um, let's go. So, as always, the first thing the supermarket needs is a road around it so people can get where they're going. So as for the size of the road, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna put it on a corner, so I'm gonna go like three, four, boom. Kind of. I'm gonna have it seven blocks wide. You'll see why later. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so I'm also going to have pavement because you can't really have a road without pavement, can you? So okay, so one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. But I think I messed up my calculations. Right, I definitely messed up my calculation. I don't know how to make a corner. We'll just put it on out. The reason I'm doing it on bedrock is because of this. It's like 10 times faster breaking block. No, I could just go. <laughs> like, this is really fast. And I have played a lot more bedrock recently, so uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm filling this in when I'm literally going to replace it with concrete. So yeah, we're going to have a corner here. So I probably need to start at the same spot here. And end at the same spot there. Kind of like... That is wrong in every way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I knew it was wrong. There we go. And then you see, we can go this way. Where's my grey concrete gone? Oh yeah, I replaced it with grass. So I'm thinking I'm going to start down here where I know what I'm doing. Three? Is that too much? No, three works. And then we'll inspect the road at the end. So this is going to look, hopefully, pretty good. Okay, so... Yeah, uh... This one looks good, but this one does not look like it fits in. Does it? Oh crap, it's because I've got these going the wrong way. It's supposed to be going that way, it's supposed to be going that way. Now, to be honest, that don't look too bad. I don't know how I've managed to pull that off. I guess I'll just go this way. Okay, there we go. So from here, if I go three, how many are after that? There's one, two, three, four, five, and they're full. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and they're full. Meaning, that that 
does it look right? Yeah, it looks right. Right then, uh, let's start filling in the gaps for the road. Okay, there we go. That is the road finished, and now it's time to work on the uh, pavement, I guess. Okay, let's inspect this. Okay, now we just need to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, and that is the pavement finished. Actually, looking pretty good. So now I'm just going to put a couple of lamps down. I'm going to put one here. Oh no, that was, that's where the road entry is going to be. I still have one this side, I guess. Nothing fancy. Why did I put it in the middle of the path? Oh, oh well. So one, two, three, four, one across. One, two, three one across now this one I'm also not gonna do because I'm gonna have an entrance there and an entrance there so you know enter from both sides no I want it there okay guys so I'm gonna put the entrance this second one four five six seven How's this gonna work? You know that'll do, that's good enough. Now the same thing, and the second one across. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just like that, I guess. Now here. Now normally there's like a fence, isn't there, to stop people from just kind of walking in from any old direction. So we have cobblestone walls. I want to put something underneath here. I'm going to just put some smooth stone for now, you know, keep it the same. Did I mess up? I have stone brick walls. Stone brick walls, cobblestone walls. As soon as you use stone brick for the lamps, I'm going to use cobblestone here. Oh, what the hell am I doing putting white concrete down? It needs to be more like that. No, not you. You're the road, so if anything, I need to continue the road as well. Like that. And then I also need to do the exact same thing here. Luckily, I don't have to do the same on that side. Okay, so now we have a wall to stop people from just wandering in. Why did I decide to build this on a corner? Okay, so the actual supermarket is going to be like... I guess it could be a corner shape, I don't know. I think I'm gonna start working on that. How far across should I have? I'm thinking maybe five. No. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Well, there will definitely be a block on this side, in line with that wall, which is what here. Yes, and then I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That looks pretty good. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Oh crap, I never grabbed any doors. So what I'm actually going to do, because most of the doors in this place are like automatic, you don't have to actually like open them, they just kind of already open. I'm gonna add some pressure plates and all that stuff. What I'm also going to do is this. Normally in some places like this, you have a small area like the Asda where you have like plants and stuff, you know what I'm on about. Hopefully you do know what I'm on about. I need to put a block under here. What did I say the floor was going to be oak planks? I'm going to need another set of doors there. Okay, so you can go there. This is where the Minecraft comes in, the whole door bit. How long have I been filming? Man, 15 minutes. Probably going to be shorter than that in the video though. Not by much, so I'd say maybe 10 minutes. I don't know. Okay, so here the floor will be oak plant. I have actually grabbed a few plants. Oh man. Now as you know, normally they're in these like flower pots, aren't they? So I'm going to put one there. One there. One there. One there. Oh no, I can't do that because then you'll get trapped. So I'll put one in like that. I was thinking if you have like trap doors in the middle, you know, around the, but then you, you won't be able to walk through them. <laughs> oh. So now basically I just have to pick four plants. Fern's too boring. A rose bush, sure. A blue orchid. Or is it orchid? I don't know if so what. Pink petals. Mm, I need more flowers. Kind of like this sunflower. Can you like face the right way? Oh yeah, they face the sun, don't they? But I've got it on always day. So I might want to switch the flower for one that isn't set to always day. What the hell's that about? So I'm going to grab a small flower for that corner. I'm thinking maybe a... Allium. Cool. And then another big flower for that corner. So you have the choice of a peony and a lilac. I think a lilac looks better than a peony in my opinion. Oh, it's the same colour as the Allen though, isn't it? Well, why is this a tough choice? Okay, now I'll pick the peony. I don't want all the flowers being the same colour. Meaning I might... In fact, why don't I just switch the smaller flower? You know, put somewhere down there, I don't know. Azure Bluette. I didn't combine with it. Then, I can put down the lilac. Hey, hey, that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to make that wood and you wood. Then the doors will go on this side to give people more space. Give me some pressure plates. Can you like, oh yeah, I want to leave. Yoit. 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 Okay, so the outline of the car park, I think I'm just going to use like this and then put those cobblestone walls back. I won't need any more pressure plates now, will I? So I can grab in the red concrete. You see, I'm going to do kind of like this to mark the outline. Now, normally in these places, the roads don't have road marking. You've just got to kind of know. Normally it's arrows, but simplicity I think we'll just leave it as it is so I'm just going to fill this giant space with grey concrete okay guys in fact
fact for this one, why don't you just pause my recording? Okay guys, so I filled in this entire spot with grey concrete, which actually makes it look a lot better. So now we need to add some um, parking spaces. It's just a matter of um, where and how big. I say... Make a fair size. Well, according to this, cars on the road are a maximum of three wide. But then again, that parking space is massive. So I've got a plan. My plan is that. Still a bit big. That. That's a little better. So we're just gonna boom. Now I do have some yellow concrete. I'm gonna put some disabled spots around there. In fact, disabled people would want to park near the doors. So why aren't these disabled spots? I can't add like the symbol on them, but everyone knows yellow spots are disabled. Also, this is the perfect fit for the door. So I'm also gonna. Oh, I don't have enough room to put on there. Oh. Well. Motorbike parking. You can put a motorbike in that spot. I don't know. I just... So the the disabled spots are here. Now we obviously need normal spots. Okay, this is going along pretty well. Oh, perfect fit again. But that also means I don't have enough spots to put. Another motorbike spot. Okay, so now we've added a few spots. We could always add some on the other side. Now I feel like they won't really fit the best. That ain't too bad. I mean, sure, this looks weird. Maybe I could fix it up a bit. Maybe I should just leave this bit, you yeah. know. looks pretty good to be fair and there's still spaces for cars to drive up there's the disabled spot normally there's more car parking spots than there are disabled spots I've got an equal amount so I'm just gonna have one disabled spot and then like five normal spots wait no you can stay yellow actually I don't know if that looks weird hmm. oh. maybe at the end I could add some rails it wouldn't go straight in the middle though, but they'd go in. I don't know, one for going in, one for going out. Anyway guys, so we have this set up. Now as you know, I'm crap at building. So, but I do know one thing and that's build up. That's the one thing I know. I think, how high should I have it? That high? I don't know, let's build this bit as well. Obviously go over the door. Now where's my glass? Glass is here. Obviously I'm going to need glass because otherwise this place is going to look boring AF. So um yeah. <laughs> so the plan is I build up and then to add some depth I'm going to use this red concrete to build out and have a few windows. It'll work best in like these bits. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay now we just have to build above these doors like so so what I'm thinking is I need a good spot to do it oh, I can't do it can I? I've got parking spots oh for god's sake I only just remembered I have parking spots because they're very very necessary I'm just going to go up two if I'm going to go up three just because because I have the space we want people to see inside our shop because our shop is full of greatness and many other things that are not so great <laughs> like me, <laughs> I'm in the shop oh crap, did I break a block? man I broke, how did I not break the glass but I broke the block how does that make any sense? and now obviously for the roof I think I'm gonna just stick with white concrete I still need to think of a name for this place 
Okie dokie. Oh, I'm going to need to light up the inside also. I guess I could just put glowstone in the roof. I might do that to be fair. So I'm just going to put one for now because I only need one. Wait a minute. That never happened. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. We, we don't need trapdoors. People know how to use a door, don't they? We can have one going in, I guess. Just not going in. Just because. Okay, if we're doing it like that, I don't... What do I not need? Let me sort... I need to sort my inventory. What am I going to need? I'm going to need the oak planks. That for the shelves. I'm actually going to make the shelves out of white concrete. Is there any better trap doors that I can use? There is no way I'm using a copper one. Do these even open by hand, or do you need a lever? Huh. Okay. Um, I also need the glowstone, my item frames to put my items on, and my glass. So what I'm going to do is... Why is placing glass on glass so hard? Like this. I'm just going to... Bada... Boom. That looks alright. And then if I just do the same thing here... Okay, there we go, there's that window. Now, I'm, um, uh, time to do the floor, I guess. Okay, so let's just um, build up here. I'm thinking I'm gonna make all of this glass. Oh, I can um, put these back now. Oh crap, where am I gonna put the tools? Uh, I don't know. Let me just, uh, one, two, three, four. I don't know, maybe like that. Normally these days they're like self-service, aren't they? Four, five, six, five. I'll just leave them. I'll just um. Okay, so um, there's going to be some self-service checkout drill things here. What looks like it could be a machine. I need to go to redstone for that. I think. Hmm. That thing looks like a machine, that's cool. Dispensers look kind of cool. Yeah, that's where you put your money in. I've got two self service checkout things. Just test is that. Okay, it does. So what my plan is. Okay, let me just um I don't know, I guess I'll put a crafting table on the top of something. Now that looks weird. What looks like it's the top of a computer screen? Would a dropper look better than a dispenser? Hmm. So as for the top of the um the screen observers. Oh yeah, they always face that way, don't they? So 
I need to put them that way instead. There's our self-service checkout drill things. Oh, I need to I need to move the button. I'm gonna put the button on the observer. Kinda like that. This bit obviously won't have any glass because well it's the self-service checkout. Now I can put the but oh no I can't put the mobile phone there. Okay, I'm gonna put a stack of gold. What would currency be? Currency is gold, wouldn't it? Oh no, actually it's emeralds. Normally you use emeralds. Um, so I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, please give him. Please put your money in. Plop. Take your change. No. Looks like I will be using dispensers then. Seeing as those things have problems. Okay. So y'all put your money in and then take your change. Thought it worked earlier. God's sake. What if I put him there instead? Okay, because then you can still be changing. I got my change. Let's go. It worked. Eventually. Oh, crap. One, two, three, four. This bit can have its own separate glass bit, mostly because that's how you know where the self service checkout thing is. Okay, there we go. So this bit can stay like this. This is the ex entrance point. Good thing I tested it. Let's go pay. Yep, 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 yep. I've put, I've put all my stuff in. Oh yeah. That's a great idea. If I put light, yeah, cold and it'll work. Gotta put your shopping in. You can all can yeah. Put your shopping in. <laughs> put your shopping in the scanner. No, this is your bag. People's baskets. I don't know, it's a basket or something. Put your stuff in it. I don't bloody know, but it looks cool, so we're having it. Okay, and then I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Then, I think we just have to make the roof, basically. And all the shelves and stuff. And all what they're selling. Don't know what they will be selling, but they'll be selling, hopefully, some good stuff. And then, I think we will be ready to go there's no customer services because no one needs that if you've got a problem it's your problem not my problem that's how I like to think of it if you've got a problem well, you've got it I don't have it <laughs> if it's with our stuff well then you messed it up because our stuff is perfect I still need a name though what would I what a, what a mo what a popular supermarket called Aldi Little Tesco, Sainsbury's, Waitrose, Asda, Iceland, kind of a supermarket, co-op, kind of maybe, you know, some of them sound like place names, like Sainsbury's, like places end in Burries, or Tros, places end in Tros, but unless you're in America, then it's stuff like Walmart and Target, even though I don't think that's, maybe you could end it in Mart, I guess as it's short for Market. But yeah, I can't have you. Okay, so the plan is, I'm gonna put one there. Oh, no, I can't put one there, can I? Wait, wait, yeah, I can. I'm just gonna move it a bit. I'm also gonna put one over here. Put one over here. And over here. Slash time. Set. Night. Fine if you ask me. One, two, bada boom, bada boom, and then that's for you. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. All oh, these ones have a gap of three between them. I 
fan that way. How come it's two and then three? That doesn't really make any sense if you ask me. Is it seeing? Have I done the same yet? Well, I have. And then just one in this corner. Just because. Okay, this place is looking pretty good. Now it's time for the interesting part where I grab a bunch of items and put it on shelves. I'm also going to need a freezer section, so I'm going to do the iron door strategy with an iron block and a dispenser. And an item. Oh, I already have the item. Well, yeah, I'm going to use glow item frames because they glow instead. So you might make the items stand out a bit more. And then I'm also going to need buttons for the actual freezer thing. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm putting the freezer section here. Yeah. Did I forget how this works? It goes the other way. Done. No. Okay, so it works like that. Why is somebody telling me that isn't right? <laughs> Probably isn't. Oh well. No, grab me the button. Yeah, it weren't right. I've made these before and they work perfectly you put down a pressure plate the pressure plate opens the door and it fires the dispenser I don't know, maybe I could have the dispensers hidden in the ground. It's not too bad of an idea. Oh, that one will set that one off. Won't it? So if I go like, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And then put my wooden pressure plates over the top of them. Still access that. how it works I feel like white stained glass will work well here if I like rem I'm gonna need to remove the glass here meaning I might as well just remove this tire glass bit flash time set you can go back today now give me that white concrete back Now, if I just build this up, Okie dokie, Now we have access to this wall. I guess I'll just um. I'm gonna need to. Why would you want windows that look into your shop? That's not actually a bad point. Why the hell would you want windows that look into your shop? Okay, so now I'm gonna go one, two, three. Man, that is the worst fridge freezer thing I've ever made. That is super. Maybe I should have just left the iron doors there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that instead. Okay. Now in a freezer section, like this, you shall find meat and fish. 
so let's get some meat and let's get some fish cooked food chicken pork chop beef mutton rabbit this can be the meat section okie dokie the fish can be somewhere else now I'd say it's about time we start making some aisles so we can have a couple of aisles here one two three four five I'm, I'm gonna have them two block. Oh, I need them through. Ah, I didn't think of this. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. There's going to be a Nile here. Like this. And then I guess I can have an aisle here. Hmm. I think I want to replace. I'm going to replace two of my meats with fish. Let's be honest, no one eats rabbit. So, mutton. Mutton ain't too popular, whereas pork chops, steak, and chicken are more popular. And you always get a ton of fish choices. Okie dokie. Hello. Oh. That looks good. Okay, now we need to get some miscellaneous foods. Hmm. Bread. There's always bread. Mushroom stew. Beetroot soup. Rabbit stew. Baked potatoes. Biscuits. Pumpkin pies. Cake. This can be this section. Not bread. Mushroom stew. Why are they all facing that way? Oh man, do I turn it too much? Oh my god. Okie dokie, oh, else in that section? Dried kelp. I'm alright, you know. Raw food. Eggs. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, uh, eggs. Eggs will be on sale. Sugar would definitely be on sale. Remove all this. Then there's always a fruit and veg section in there. Do I. Where is the fruit and veg? Crops, here we go. An apple, a beetroot, a potato, a carrot, and melon, and uh, sweet berries. Glowberries don't really count because, um, oh, well, I guess they can always add them. Golden apples, golden carrots, you know. Wheat berries, glowberries, golden apple, golden carrot, and uh, janted golden apples, I guess. Okay, let's remove all this stuff out of the way. Now we need to obviously turn it to make it faces. Same with these. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Wait, is that it ever done? Oh, I still need to think of a name or something. Hmm. 
I don't need a name, do I? Okie dokie. Can you have levers that change the direction of rail? Let me just have a look at that. I knew it. So what I'm actually going to do is let's add some rail, guys. Powered rail. And normal rail. Redstone torches. Buttons. Okay. Okay, so let's say... Boom, we're gonna have it going straight down the middle. And you can either go that way or that way. No. Yo, cool. Like that. But then we also need one here. Okay, so this will just keep you straight going. If you come from that side, you'll be like, wee. Okay, that's good. And then um, I need some powered rails, don't I? So I guess I'll put some in this section, seeing as this section's the middle. Oh, you can't have them as corners, can you? I don't know, I guess I'll put them here. Then you obviously need one right at the start. This one can be a button. And then uh, let's grab them. Oh, I need some rail going this way, don't I? So I'm. Um, uh Boom. Same with you, let's park. Wait, did I just park in a disabled spot? No, I thought I parked in a disabled spot. That's saying I'm disabled. Oh. Okay. Now let's uh, grab a mine cart and uh, give it a test. Oh, I can't even see the button. I think I need to raise it a tiny bit. Okie dokie then. Do I want to go into the shop? Let's test. Oh. Just testing how well the ride works. Mm, yeah, I do. Woohoo, I'm at the shop. And you go out, you buy your stuff, come back. <laughs> okay, let's try and make it over there. Oh! Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye.